it has a horse on it. It has red and white. It's more of like a burgundy on the outside. But we're going to throw some red in there. And then you got your green and you got some blue here. So we're going to pull all these together. All right. So let's start cutting our mesh. And what I'm going to be using is I have some laser eyelash uh, green, moss green. I have some red and white poly burlap. I have some green. I have some blue. So let's put this in here. So we're going to be mixing colors together today to give it a really pretty, just put a little bit of all the color in there. I have some mesh that I'm going to trim the edges off that is blue, and then I have some leftover white. So we're going to mix in a bunch of different colors together to try to give it a pasture, sky, green look, pull every color out of that sign. Alright. It's got, and we're going to have fun with this. So I'm going to trim these very edges right here because this is a roll that I've already used. Let's trim this up. There we go. Let's go ahead and cut this up in 20 inches. So we have blue, green, red and white, blue mesh, <coughs> excuse me, still a little sick, and white. Alright. And we're not going to use a lot of, you're going to see, we're going to pull these colors, but yet we're not going to use too much. And I have the moss green laser eyelash already cut that I'll show you that I have left over. Alright, so 20 inches. <sighs> so, what I do want is it actually we're going to cut I'll tell you how many pieces when we get there. So that's one, two, because you're doing half of it with the blue at the top and half of it with the green at the top, trying to highlight your sign, okay? We're going to just do, and I don't have the other green, it's almost gone, that I put under there. There you go. I'm just using a couple pieces of white to highlight it. I have a couple extra pieces over there, so... <clears throat> we're doing half of it, not quite half, you'll see, 20 inches, that one here, cut some more of this blue, and then I'm going to concentrate on the red. And then we're going to go to just cotton. 
couple more red. Red and white. That's it. 20 inches. And you can actually do this at 10 if you want or 14. red and white. One. Ah. <coughs> Go. Two. you how many we have once we get our reef where we need it. How many I used to be. going to be using a variety of colors, kind of popping that sign. You can actually cut these at 12 or 14 inches or even 10 inches depending on how you want yours to look. Right. Make a couple more of the red and white. I thought I had more than that. We'll just go through it first. pieces of white. Don't need a lot. We're probably not going to use all that blue either. Depends on how full we want our reef. So. But as you can see, we're going to be working on the, the center first. So I'm going to take this, roll these and put them to the side. Let's take our green. white and our blue. Alright, then I have some leftover green. lots of it that I cut. <clears throat> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to be working on the inside of your reef first, okay? So you want to kind of pull it, take your sign, put your sign in front of you so that can give you the inspiration of what you're making. Uh, 
we're, we're praying for Sharon. I love you, Judy. I need to call you. Oh. And I'm glad you went to be with your baby. Alright, so we're going to take this and we're going to highlight our colors. i to clean this tomorrow. Sorry, everyone. I'm still a little under the weather, but I'm better than I was. Alright. <clears throat> so I'm going to take blue, blue, and our little bit of white. Alright. <laughs> Let's do, put this over here work on our blue blue and our white first and then we'll work on our grass. There we go. Alrighty, so depending on how you want this to look and how you want it to be, you want to try to get that sky at the top here. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to take my light blue, and this is just blue 10 inch with the metallic strip in it that's left over from my peacock. I actually think this is left over from last year when we did a beach wreath actually because it's a blue, it's light blue. Alright, I'm just going to take this under... One. You're gonna only do three, three sections. Okay. Sideways. Under. That's two. And this is three. So just three. So half of your center. All right. And we're just doing a 20 inch ruffle, not the ruffle flower. You don't have to do the ruffle flower, just do a regular ruffle. You can do, actually do 10 inches if you want with this. Another piece of blue. Crisscross it. Kind of want the white to be in it. But not overtake it. So put it underneath that. Leaves on top. Take your zip tie. Around bar one. Around all of this. Okay. Very thick. So I said you can do it in 10. You don't have to do it in 20. Alright. So all come together. Take my blue. My white, sorry. My blue. What I'm going to actually do with this one is I'm going to just over layer it since I'm sticking it under anyways. You can take your regular white laser eyelash and do this. And just put it underneath the turquoise. Alright. That gives it more of a flower now. Because we got... So. It all 
blends together, so don't worry. Take this. Crisscross it right here. Zip tie. Underneath bar four. Around all four pieces. Good grip on it because it does, it is very thick. You can do this in 10, like I said. Absolutely do it in 10. Do mine in 20, which is a little bit. And I'm definitely using my. This will all come together. Don't worry. <clears throat> so I'll save these because I don't need them. Three pieces of blue, three pieces of white. your poly burlap and two of either your laser or your regular mesh. You could do it in 10 inches, 12 inches, 14 inches. Mine's in 20. It's very, very thick. Very thick. Like extremely thick. There we go. Taking this, putting the blue, crisscross to the two here. This goes underneath bar four. You can do this in 10 inches, right? And this will all come together. The white, the blue, everything will come together when we're done. You'll see. I'm just really fat right now. That big. All right. So you're not going to use as much for your grass as you're seeing. This is more. For the bottom, I have a lot that's cut over from old pieces. I'm going to need just, I only want six. Two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Alright. I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them underneath bar. And you have three that you're working with. So let me push this over. One, two, three. Half and half. Under. One. Three. I said you can actually take, let me trim this. 10 inch and do it in 10, the curly cue in 10. 
I'm actually going to take this and take the green and put it on top of the poly burlap instead of under it. All right, and this is going to pull up and give it some texture in between the two greens. Take this underneath your bar, round bar four. going to give it that pasture look that we're looking for. Do not worry about zip ties or anything. This is your pasture right here, your grass. Again, I'm taking the laser eyelash and I'm putting it on top of the poly burlap texturize it and make it look like grass. You want it more like grass. Take your zip tie, under bar four, <coughs> there you go. I'll be, I'm going to try to be on YouTube tomorrow and then back here. And then next week we'll start our normal schedule again. I hopefully will be feeling better. Come on. Very tight. Just so you know. Pull it. Come on. Give me your little tail there. There we go. This is grass. I don't know if anyone remembers when I did the RV, we made it look like grass. We're making it look like grass, okay? Where the horses are hazing and eating, they eat grass. So you want it grassy. Alright, the whole reason is our sign. Sky and grass for our horse, alright? It'll all come together. Probably say, oh man, what is she doing? You'll see. There's one more. I get to save these. I only need three. And I already have that under there. So I need one more. There we go. The sky on the sign is larger than the grass, the pasture, so that's why the blue is bigger than the green, alright? So we're trying to highlight what the sign actually has. There we go, take this, goes under bar four, bar for and around there we go looks like a pasture but I want it to look like all right so now we're going to go on the outside because we used so much mesh on here now you can breathe <laughs> You actually can breathe because you don't need a lot. Uh, you're not doing anything on bar two or three, all right? The two bar read. And we may not even use all this red and white. It depends on how thick it looks, all right? Because this covers all the way to your fourth bar. Very, very, very thick. So we're going to do our flower, of course. Go to bar one. I'm going to actually go around the crossbar right here. Let's see how much I want to use. I don't know if 
because I want to use a lot. Just enough to highlight it. Right? Just to highlight it. Not enough to... It's not like the cotton mesh where it takes most of your reef. This is just going to highlight your reef. Like the sign. It's going to highlight it. That's it. Ruffle. Up. Crossbar. And we may put... Let's see. I might put... 12. We'll see. have an idea about what I want to do with the ribbon and that'll fill it up. Alright. I'm going to kind of do a country reef. You can see that. Oops. This one needs to go. Like what happened here? You're supposed to be under. <laughs> Let me pull that under. There we go. Goes under crossbar. And I'm gonna trim that little plastic off. Hmm, I might just do twelve. I think that would probably be best. Now, so the idea to fill it, but it's not as big as using the cotton mesh when you, I use the red and white. So we might want to go ahead and do 12 on here. Yeah. Just because and it's not going to be too much. Don't worry at all. We'll fall together. Let's see. This goes right there. Crossbar. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Crossbar. Around. Your ruffle. Come on. Oh. I'm so tired. All I want to do is sleep. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so. Hey, well. my blood work should be in too. I know. Should get everything tomorrow. So we'll figure out more tomorrow. There we go. Around the crossbar. So crossbar right above one. Alright. That being said, my original plan was to take ribbon country ribbon and go in between each one, but this is not full enough for me, so I'm going to take, let's see how many pieces I cut, one, two, oh, I have six, I have twelve, so I cut exactly twelve, we're going to use twelve, because I want this more round, it's going to, it'll bother me, it will literally bother me, so, it has to be more round. <laughs> So in between each of these, right on bar one, you're just going to add, just if we were doing our regular ruffle, just add our border to it. It needs to have that border. It needs the roundness of it. It'll, it'll drive me nuts. It'll absolutely drive me crazy. I'll end up adding it anyway, so we might as well add it while we have it save me some time. <laughs> so I'm going to look at it and say, oh, nope, we got to add more. There we go. 
So you can cut your curly Q that's in the center in 10 pieces and do it all in 10. You can do it in 12, 14, 16, 18. Um, you do not have to do it in 20. All right, I did it in 20. You do not have to do it in 20. This is a two bar read. All in 20 inches. Very full. And it'll all come together once you see what we're going to do and how we're going to put everything on here. It'll all come together. Let's say, okay, I get it now. I get it. There we go. right now if I skip this part we would end up be doing it anyways because that's going to drive me nuts I need it to be completely round if you're using your cotton jute mesh you're only going to need six pieces you're not going to need 12 this is your poly burlap the cotton jute is thicker so you can actually get away with just six pieces going around it I am using the poly burlap on the ends and kind of want it a little fuller, so I'm doing 12 pieces with that. Like I said, you can actually use cotton jute and only use six for the border. All right. It is a little bit thicker and is cotton, so it tends to thicken up in the edges more than your poly burlap. Right, even though poly burlap is thick, cotton jute is thicker. And they have the red and white cotton jute. I originally was going to use that, but we have already done stuff in, with the red and white cotton jute, so I want to do something different. Alright, so we're going to put our last one over here. And then we're going to work on this. We're going to trim this up too. There we go. All right, you see how thick this is? So this being this thick, your horse reef, the sign is going to be more upward. Right, because this has a lot of mesh on it. Very thick. It's only two bars, but very, very thick because everything's cut in 20. And it is the um, center of it is the curly Q and 20 inches. So, very thick. That being said, we're going to take this. I like to move my mesh around first. Take any little this. Move it around. Sometimes I'll do it side to side too, so it depends on what size I'm using and which one I'm using. in 
bed all day. I brushed my teeth, but I didn't take a shower. I laid in bed. I mean, the baby. We were both like, ah. Uh. He was with me. He didn't want to do anything but lay down, too, so. All right, I'm going to take this. This is actually going to go around the zip tie at the bottom. That's around four. So I'll open this up. Very thick. And actually, I can pull it up if I need to. That might. Sometimes I like to pull them up instead of under. Alright. already there again on four. So in between each zip tie on four, do not worry because all the ruffles are just so thick, it covers everything. So I'm taking this under, that one I put over and tied it, this one I'm taking under and tying it. Our basis, our border. So with this, because we have our, this is just craft outlet blue here, metallic blue. We're gonna leave it at the hood. about 
12 inches on each side as far as our legs right here. I'm going to take some green, and we've used this green before. Green is going to pull out the green for the pasture. Now, I'm not using blue, but I am using green, okay? I don't like the way this green is right here. You can tell that they glued that there. I'm not going to use that part. Sometimes you get that when you buy the 50 yards. That one has that. There you go. Green. It's your moss green. Craft out with. Now, do I want this one? Or is that going to be too much red? Or do I just want this? I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to do the red and white checkers. Alright, we're going to take our horsey ribbon. And I am actually going to take this. Right. You see that's about three inch little length there. I'm gonna twist this up. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do five because it bubbles up to four. One. Twist this up. Down. Two. That's our dream. Our dream is to get a nice piece of property and live off the land. That's what we want to do. We want a couple horses and we some cattle and my husband wants to be a farmer. He grew up on a farm so he wants to be farming. He wants to retire and farm. He's a farm boy. There we go. So I'm going to do, this is really pretty. Six, seven, cut. We're going to take our green. Eight. 
press this and it's going to be short. We're going to take our red and white because that's just going to highlight it. I'm actually going to put a short tail right here, just one. You can kind of curl it if you want, a shorter one. I'm going to twist this up. There you go. Do not worry about that tail because I cut my tails. Okay. Plus they don't show if you do it right. big zip tie and we still have decor and stuff don't worry this just needs to be done first because of the type of reef we're making And we still have another, I have a couple other things I want to do with ribbon too, so we're not done. <laughs> not by far. Yeah, by far. Now you can do eight of the horse if you want to. Do four on each side instead of three. Absolutely. So when you do this, you have two options. You can put it at the side or at the bottom, all right? When you make these, different once you tie it on. Alright, so this represents an award ribbon. So, choices are bottom or side. It's completely up to you. Let's see where I want it though. At the side. Last year I did one at the bottom. Everybody, you can do one at the bottom if you want. 
but this one I actually like at this side. I think it's gonna pull the red and the green and everything together. I actually like it right one at the top, the side. There you go. Is that great? Try to do something different every year. Last year I did a horse and we did this almost exact ribbon too. And we did it, except we did it in blue. We did it in green and blue with the horse. And we put it at the bottom. Right? This year I'm gonna put it at the top. You can actually do your horse with four on each side if you want. I have three, which is plenty, but if you want to do four, you can do four. Okay. Let's take it, wrap it around. far up it's down enough to highlight our sign still all right so now we need to do decor and if I want to put more ribbon on here we need to do more ribbon so with the ribbon far as I would do is you want to kind of highlight your red and white too but before we do anything we want to put our decor on it and as you all know Horses like apples to eat, and they drop off trees, and people put them and give them snacks. Apples are a great little snack for our little horsies. So we're going to just throw a couple little apples in here. Just a couple. They like apples. They love apples. That's what we give them for snackies. I don't know if anybody has horses, but I give horses for snackies is apples. Apples, and we pick um, literally pick grass and stuff. They'll eat it right out of your hand. Um, but apples are a snack. That's their favorite. I'm going to add my little spin to this, all right, and I'm going to put in a couple of daisies, daisies are fun, just a few, not a lot, give it a country, country little look to it. Don't need a lot. You honestly don't need a lot with this. At all. Might just use two. And some little ones. You can take 
take some, you can do anything. I just want to put something on it. Just to give it just a cuteness to it, a little countryness to it. And I may change it. Let's see what else I want to do. Let's do a couple little country bows. Let's do this all country. So I haven't glued on the, the flowers yet because I don't know if I'm going to use all that, okay? But I do like this. So you can do these by hand. If you're not, if you don't feel comfortable with it, absolutely you can take it and um, use your 401. So I just twist this right here. And, ooh, I got vertigo. My ears ring. It's from having that ear infection. Here we go. Twist this again right here. Just twist it. Alright, so you have two little twists. They're just twisted on top. That's all you do. I'm going to cut my leg here. All you're doing is you're twisting the top here and you're crisscrossing it. That's it. Take yourself some floral wire. Take it around your bow. Remember that bows don't have to be perfect, especially when you're trying to do like a country bunkin. You can do something country and cute if you want it to be different, but I don't want that too big either, so I'm going to move that there, there we go. Probably cut my legs down a little bit. Get yourself some longer wire than that. <laughs> Alrighty. That's what I'm going to do. Alrighty. Here we go. Take a little daisy here. Take a big one here. Let's trim this down. Put in the center of my bow. That's going to give you where it's going to pull out from the bow and in the reef as we start to highlight it. Let's take our little apples. Just let them lay right into the grass. One. Two. Don't need a lot. Maybe I'll put one down here. Just put one here. 
eat a lot. blossoms if you don't. I didn't have any so I used daisies but you definitely can use some apple blossoms and put it in there instead of daisies. Um, you can add a number one into your award winning ribbon because that's like an award winning ribbon. You can put one, two, three like if your horse won an award. Um, you can do just about anything with it. You can put your little country ribbons going through the whole thing. It doesn't need a lot. This is pretty just the way it is. It doesn't need a lot. It really doesn't need a lot. It's country. It's cute. It's pretty. And you're not taken away from the horse. It's really cute. I like it just the way it is. I think if I put anything else on it, I'm going to actually ruin it. So, I like it. Okay. Hi, Teresa. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, I like it. It's not too much. So, the horse should be the main focus. Horses like apples. Daisies are, are usually daisies are in pastures. They eat them, by the way. <laughs> they eat daisies, too. They'll eat those. They eat flowers. They eat grass. They eat apples or snacks. So, you put in your country bunkin and with your horsey and you're giving it a little happiness by adding some flowers so it's really cute just a couple apples horses eat apples don't put too much on it just a couple they're snacks for them that is their favorite snack just so you know <laughs> so my father lives in upstate new york so let me give you a little a little history on us uh, we have a dairy farm up there in upstate. An actual dairy farm. It's no longer a dairy farmer anymore. He does corn now. And um, so, anyways, horses were a big part. So, they, all my brothers, because they live on a farm, they all built their house on a farm near my father and his wife. They all roll the hay and sell it to all of our farmers because it's a farming. It's upstate farm. Farming. Not like not like you think. It's a farm town. They live in it's called Appleton, New York. It is a farm town. It's very small. It's nothing but farms. It used to be a dairy farm. But they roll the hay and stuff for all the local farmers. And we did have horses when I was little there too. And that was one thing we always gave them apples for treats. They love apples, and apples are so healthy for them. Yes, and carrots too. <laughs> but apples are a nice, sweet treat for a horse. You don't have to put sunflowers. I just wanted to put something a little country in there besides just the sky. Something to give it happiness. And you can take some apple blossoms and put the apple blossoms where the daisies are. You can do that too. Oh, you have? Oh, I love you, Teresa. Hi, sweetheart. I miss you too, honey. I miss you. This is a lot of fun. So, I will be doing more horse reefs. Alright? So, we're going to do a couple more as I find more signs. And each one that we do will be different. Each one will tell the story of what's in the sign. Alright? So this, this sign has a sky and it has a pasture. It's also country because it has the border of your, your check going around it. So you want to give it the countryness, pull your checkered out with your ribbon. You want to accent it. So let's say if, um, like Marie's granddaughters and daughters and stuff, they actually do... Um, they actually do contests and ride their horses and stuff. 
they're trained. And you can win awards and stuff for the different things you do with them. And they're beautiful. So you can actually take the actual bow that we made today and you can put a one, two, three, four for first, second, third, fourth, fifth place. Like an award winning type wreath. So there's so much you can actually do with this. Just a couple apples. Not a lot because that's their favorite treat. Apples are a treat. That's like, you did so good. I'm so proud of you. Have an apple. I love you. <laughs> they love apples. <laughs> so, um, but it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. And they're so cute. They're so sweet. I love horses. So have fun with it. Have fun with it. Apples are a treat to them. Daisies are a country, springy, type look and they will eat daisies too. They eat anything, <laughs> grass, hay, anything. They eat anything. But apples are their favorite treat. And they like carrots too. We always give them apples. So I love horses. They're so cute. They're so, so cute. <laughs> Judy, you're so cute. Yeah, so put your award. You like put one, two, three, four. You can make an award. If you make, if you're going to put the bow at the bottom, all right, then do these in four inches. Your big ones do, start off at four, all right, instead of five. And you only need six if you do it at four. Make your legs nine inches, all right, so 18 inches. And then you can put it at the very bottom if you want to put it at the bottom. So there's several ways you can make this. This is a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, the thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. And I look forward to putting out some more craft tutorials and new tutorials coming up in the next couple months. I will be starting to do lives again. I can't wait. I have missed you all so much. Have a blessed day. Bye, everybody.